a float, the first point to understand is when you can actually hoist the sail. And this is best done on a training run. Working together, the helmsman and crew balance the boat to keep it flat. The crew then pulls the spinnaker up using the halyard. This might feel tight because pulling the sail up also pulls the bowsprit out. Watch yourself here as the sail will suddenly pull free from the spinnaker chute, so make sure that you're balanced or even seated to do this. The crew then locks the halyard in the jam cleat. Look above to check the sail is fully hoisted. The crew then moves to pick up the leeward control sheet. This is the one on the same side as the boom. Tension in the spinnaker sheet is crucial to successful spinnaker sailing. To find the best position for the sheet, the crew must constantly be easing and tightening the sheet in small amounts whilst keeping a keen eye on the leading edge of the sail. The crew releases the sheet until the leading edge of the sail just starts to curl. When this point is reached or the sail starts to flap, the crew then pulls the sheet back to the point where the sail stops flapping. This action is continually repeated. As you get better, the leading edge should just be flicking with the sheet being released and tightened by just a few inches at a time. At this point, the sail is set for the optimum airflow and generates the maximum power or drive.